Hi, this is Greg with Studio Network Solutions. In this video, we're going to discuss some basic functions in the SNS Nomad utility. Most Evo users will be familiar with Evo Share Browser and also with the preview files that Evo generates that can be viewed in Share Browser or in the Share Browser web app. These preview files can be viewed even when the Evo Share is not mounted on the workstation. Nomad gives you the option to connect to Evo and pull the preview files to your remote location and use them as proxy files for editing. So let's take a look at how this process works. One of the things you're going to need is the ability to connect to your Evo remotely. I'm using a VPN. What this allows me to do is connect to Evo through Share Browser and mount the share that has media on it that I need at my remote location. This particular share that is now mounted lives remotely on an Evo that is not at my current location. But with the VPN connection, I'm able to mount the share as if I'm at the facility. Once the share is mounted, we can launch Nomad to pull the proxy files from this connected share to our local workstation drive. There are several options that allow you to control how proxy files are pulled from Evo. In this video, we are only covering the basic copy functions. In the source location, you have the option to choose an entire share, a folder on a share, or if you use Adobe Premiere Pro, you can choose to have the proxy files from just a project transferred. For our demonstration, we will use a folder on a share. For the destination to your local workstation, you can choose an entire disk or a folder on the disk. Finally, you'll need to enter your Evo login credentials. Under the Review Copy task, Nomad will scan the source and find indexed files that need to be moved to the destination. If a proxy file is available, it will be copied. If there is not a proxy file found, then the original file will be copied to the destination. Start copying will begin the process. Nomad will copy the files from our Evo connection to our local destination. Your download speeds will be dependent on your internet connection. Once the copy is done, we can look and see that the destination path has the same folder structure as the original path. At this point, we can unmount the share and disconnect from our VPN because the media is now on our local workstation. So how do we make the files work in our nonlinear editor on our local system? I've created a sample project in a couple of NLEs to give an example. In Premiere Pro, you have a couple of ways to establish the links. In this example, we are selecting the files in a bin. Now, right-click and select Relink. You will then choose to locate the files and navigate to the newly copied folder from Nomad, or choose Search. Once Premiere finds the files, click OK, and the proxy files are now linked in the project. If you had selected the Premiere project in Nomad, then only the files related to this project would have been copied, and not the entire folder. In Resolve, this is a similar process. For this example, we will choose the bin and select to relink all the files in the bin. Navigate to the local drive and open it. Resolve will search for the files and then relink them in the project. Once your project is done in the offline stage, be sure to take a look at our video on conforming from a remote workflow. 